Hello everyone, it's Damon here at Big AZ Speakers. Uh, today I just wanted to go over this Marantz uh, 2238B uh, stereo receiver. Just uh, we got done uh, pretty much restoring this unit, replaced all the pre-driver transistors uh, on the, the main driver board which also houses the uh, relay protection circuit. Also uh, replaced all capacitors on that that same board and also all capacitors on all uh, electrolytic capacitors on the uh, tone control board so this is uh, sounds absolutely amazing I've owned a lot of rants and um, this might be my favorite sounding one uh, so reason we went in and uh, recapped it and uh, did the transistors is especially this model uh, if you look online there's a lot of people having issues with intermittent popping uh, sound, uh, basically shooting up the DC voltage and you can hear it through your speakers, so real bad there. And it was happening intermittently, especially during power on. Um, so suspected uh, some of the transistors on the, the amp board were, were obviously uh, were noisy. And uh, so anyways, we eradicated that issue and um, you know took the extra step, used all Panasonic and some uh, Nichicon uh, uh, capacitors and also some uh, WEMA film caps on some of the signal path lower uh, ready capacitors uh, so anyways uh, just wanted you to take a look give you a quick listen so it's it's very clean but it's not perfect as you can see it does have uh, if I get to focus here this mark here on the corner with a little burr here a couple you know, marks on the edge, but at the same time, it is uh, very beautiful. Now the lights were upgraded to LED. They kind of coming through a little purple on the camera, but they're they're blue. But I think technically, uh, the probably an ultraviolet. They don't look it in person, but just kind of a hard thing to photograph. It's actually a really brilliant display, um, and. Uh, Turned out really well. So the top lid's in good shape, just some basic scuffing. One thing I really liked about this, uh, or like about this particular receiver, is it has the, not only does it have the preamp um, in and out, but normally you'd have a, a jumper going from in to out to connect your preamp section to the uh, uh, amp section, but this is coupled internally and you know, there are some receivers that have that, but you have to switch between separated and coupled. This is uh, basically coupled in a way that allows you to have control, uh, use the amp section in this, but also send the RCA signal to uh, a bigger power amplifier. Let's say you want to run uh, multiple sets of speakers without over uh, loading the, the actual amplifier. So... Um, I did run the RCA cable uh, to one of my other amps, so I can show you how that works. And uh, it's, a, it's a really nice feature. Uh, I imagine you could also use it to run a, a small powered subwoofer or something like that if you want to mix a little bit of old school with new school. Um, but uh, I have a lot of speakers in here. Uh, I'm really stuck. I know Sony isn't a name that uh, most folks would get real... Uh, happy about but these uh, Sony Carbicon speakers these are the SSU 4000 as you can see it's got the rectangular passive radiator down there um, I actually picked up two pairs of these and then I have the SSU 3000 which is identical except for it doesn't have the the passive uh, in the bottom so it's about a, only about two-thirds as tall but they are pretty fantastic speakers and they sound extra beautiful with this uh rant so real quick take you through the tuner now i didn't hook up an antenna i just did the lazy thing and hooked up an extra speaker wire to the antenna um so i'll show you how good it tunes even without an actual antenna hooked up um locks in on stereo I'm out here in east mesa which is a suburb of phoenix Full of surprise. Don't 
This is, might be one of the stronger tuners on a receiver that I've had. So I did not touch the tuner section on this. All those uh, capacitors remain original. So I got all the uh, audio control set, kind of a neutral position uh, center here. So down low, so we're in FM. That's our FM muting is on. So this is it off. Get the obviously. songs YouTube will block so switch over I have my mp3 it's actually a, a streaming service called title that allows you to stream lossless files which is dial up a little bad company here or Knox run through the tone controls So the other speaker, the right speaker is actually behind me, so we'll go full right. So the speaker in front there is off. Also the good thing about using the preamp out is I got a little low level little LED, or not LED, light up kind of view meter. So you can see I, I'm going to go full left, my back center first, you can see on there, now full left. Back center. Feel a little volume. All right, so loudness is off. Now it's on. So again, bass is here, so I go all the way down on the bass. Back center. Now we'll go all the way up. Gets pretty gnarly all the way up. Real nice, deep. Now mid, set about half. I'm using a three-way speaker, so usually like my mid set, hardly on at all, maybe a third of the way up. So it's all the way off. And back to half. And full. Back to half, take the third. Trouble's at half. All right, so all the way down. Back to half. All the way up. And right, I'll go over to phono. Uh, record dialed up. Uh, drop it. See, so you got both channels. I go full right again on phono. Both them back on. Full left. Real nice phono section. I got the high filter. Mono. Okay, now I'm going to show you the sending to the, right now this is the amp, 38 watt per channel, internal amp on here, I'm going to switch over to a 70 watt amp that I have set up, just, it's a little louder just because of the extra power, but still controlled through this, now it's no longer using this amp section, so I can turn the speakers off, but if if I wasn't routing all my speakers through this uh, speaker box, I could have speakers playing that are being powered off this right now and the speakers through my amp that's going and nothing's getting strained at all. Really cool feature. All right, we'll go back to the Marantz. So the other good thing is 
because so much of the sound is uh, in the tone board section that uh, you're using a different amp being in trouble with this you still get that lovely Moran sound so speaker one button is a little sticky it doesn't make any noise or anything just if you want to depress it you got to kind of assist it out the rest of the way not much effort to doesn't get sticky there's nothing in there just I think it's rubbing somewhere inside a little bit but it should be fine so back to aux and of course just in time for end of the song so anyways uh hope you enjoyed this video i know i talked through the whole thing but i just wanted to kind of explain all the features i noticed I went through and cleaned and lubed all the controls are well, but trouble still making a little bit of noise. So I'll hit that up again a couple times before, before it ever gets shipped. So that should not be an issue. But nothing else is giving any noise at all. Little volume here. Little bass. So, all right, thanks for tuning in and, uh, Please be sure to like and follow or thumbs down and curse my name. Either way, thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for uh, future videos if you're interested. Also, this will be listed on our website, BigAZSpeakers.com, as well as I do uh, sell on eBay and Reverb and all the other channels. But uh, if you're overseas, I offer international shipping through eBay only. So. All right. Also, if you're a group member for Big AZ Speakers Facebook group, I do give discounts to group members that actively participate. So feel free to send us a message or post in the comments below. All right. Thank you. Take care.